On this episode, we feature Lucky Dog Chicago Style, whose Cowboy Burger was the 2017 winner for Best Burger in Swanee, Georgia. Right here on Georgia Eat, Explore, and More. What's up, guys? We are at yet another award-winning restaurant, Lucky Dogs Chicago Eatery. This place is known for serving gourmet hot dogs and really good burgers. In fact, they won the best burger in Swanee in 2017. So let's go inside and see if the food is really as good as they say. How long have you been in business? I bought it in March. Really? Last March? Yeah. And you got 2017. Wow. And you got awarded best burger in July. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We weren't even gonna do it. Really? We weren't even gonna do the contest. I walked in. They emailed me. They asked me if I wanted to do it. And at first, I was like, I don't know. We're a hot dog place. So I just came in that day and said, I'm just doing what we're just going to do it. So we did it. Mm -hmm. We were waiting for them to contact us to let us know. Miranda was off and uh, she sends me a text message and says, did you see Swanee Magazine's Facebook post? I said, no, I was busy. We were, I was working. She says, and that was it. She didn't say, well, go check it. So now I'm like, okay. So I figured, so I was like, well, did the burger thing come out? And she didn't answer me. So I was like, oh, man. I was like, this can't be good. And I opened up the thing, and we were closed, actually. My kids were here. My husband was here. I had the guy fixing the Coke machine. And I opened up the thing, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. My husband's like, why, why? I said, we want the best burger. He goes, no, you did. He said, yeah, we did. How did you start? I was a teacher for 17 years, um, and I just, this place just happened to come up by accident. A friend of mine saw it posted on Facebook and sent me the link. I wasn't working at the time, I was actually recovering from a broken collarbone, and I really did not want to go back to where I was. And my friend was like, why don't you should check it out? So I looked, I looked at it. And I'm like, eh. I just I let it go. I ignored it for about 10 days. And then I went back on Facebook. And I was like, all right, if I don't go back to my job, I didn't know when I was going to heal. So I said, all right, I'll look. So I contacted him and the, the previous owner. And then um, we came here for lunch on a Saturday. And then I met with him. And that was that. It was just a fluke thing. It just came up. So, I wasn't looking for it. It just kind of found me. So what made you choose this particular cuisine? It was what the business was. I didn't know anything about Chicago style food at all. Um, but I did know, I did know it was popular, but I didn't really know anything about it. I started doing like the specials on the door. I started, I can't keep barbecue pulled pork in here when I make it. I make it in three, four days it's gone. So it's something different. So that's another thing that we're trying to do is add specials every week. That's, you know, that's different. Um, you know, we also, I also cater to uh, vegetarian people. We carry a veggie dog on a regular basis and it's vegan because a vegetarian will eat something vegan. Someone who's vegan may not necessarily eat something that's vegetarian because it still has cheese or something like that or milk or something like that in it. But we have a lot of people who come in, get the veggie dogs, done Chicago style. What's your most popular dish? Well, the burger is, um, thanks to Swanee Magazine, the Italian beef is, is a big seller. Um, either a plain Italian beef sandwich or in Chicago what they do is they put an Italian sausage on it 
on the roll first, and then they put the beef on top of it. So it's a big, but it is, it's really thinly, thin, thin sliced, um, like top round, you know, beef, and it's cooked in, you know, in the au jus. And that's one, that's one of our biggest, because we do a taste of Chicago, so it'll come with the half of beef and the Chicago dog, and that's, that's the most, that's one of the most popular. The Chicago dog, I mean, you can't, that's the, probably the most popular hot dog. The one behind it is chili cheese. That's the one that goes behind it. Um, that's really popular. We do a lot of chili cheese. What is your personal favorite dish? I like the I like the Italian beef, but I don't like it dipped. I like mine dry, um, but I do. I like the Italian beef. Um, we also make a um, a salsa. It's like a it's a pineapple sriracha salsa with like bacon and stuff because we do a Maui Waui hot dog, and I love that salsa. So like I'll put that on everything. I put it on chicken. I put it on my beef. Um, but the Italian beef I really like, and I want it else. I love those. Really oh, onion rings are really good too. That's another one of my favorites. So, onion rings. So that goes into my next question: What uh, dish would you recommend? The Italian beef, if you if you haven't had it, um, it can be done a ton of different ways. But also too, our chicken parm is great because the chicken is you know it's all fresh chicken and same thing with the meatballs. They're all handmade. So those people are starting to pick up on that a little bit more. People are starting to try different things and they're noticing mm, these people are pretty good or you know this chicken is How would you describe the food that's served here? It's fresh, it's hot. Um, we stand behind everything we serve. Um, and like I said, just when, you know when you come in, nothing's just being grabbed. you know fries, like I said, get cooked when you order them. Nothing sits. You know, it's everything. And that's another good thing for us too, we have very little waste because of that. Because we put in the table what we think we're gonna need. It's easy enough throughout the day to add the beef to the au jus and get it hot or add the hot dogs to the steam table and you know and do that. But you know, all that stuff is just in the steam table individually and then it comes out and it gets it gets all put together. What makes you stand out from other restaurants that happen to serve this same kind of food? There's a few other places like us, um, but I'm one of the only places that carries a veggie hot dog on their menu on a regular basis because I feel like I could be catering to a vegetarian. Actually, one of my employees is vegetarian. So, um, you know, she handles the meat all day, but she doesn't need it, you know. So, it's, I always try different recipes with her, um, but it's, we use, like we say we use Vienna beef hot dogs, we use Vienna beef hot dogs. I know some of my competitors um, use other stuff, because um, I happen to see them shopping. We, we say, we serve and give people what we say we're serving them and giving them. So I'm not going to say it's a Vienna beef hot dog and use something else because somebody from Chicago will know if it's a Vienna beef hot dog or not. Like they'll call you out on it. Um, and if you look at our, you know, our board over there, those are all of our locals that are from Chicago. And we saw it, that was in the back on like such a random wall and we moved it and as soon as people realize they can mark their hometown you know they're all excited you know to do that but we do we we try to change things up we add specials every week um, we stay true to you know what they do in Chicago it, on how we make our beef and you know the hot dogs that we use same thing like with the pizza puffs like the pizza puffs we use a Chicago pizza puff um, so we use and do what we say we're going to. We started doing nachos because it was just something different, you know. So I ho I make the chips. I don't buy the chips. I make the chips. So you know, and we just do everything like we have uh, pasta and meatballs this week. So just different stuff, just changing stuff up, and 
one thing that we get in our reviews all the time is how friendly staff is. That's another thing too. It's like a mom and pop place. Like we have people every Saturday. They're here at the same time every Saturday. There's people that before they get out the car, my kids and Miranda and my employees have them rung up because they're coming and they get the same thing all the time. You know, when people know you, it, it is, it's like cheers. You know, you want to keep going back where people know you and a place is friendly and stuff like that. So, plus we got 100 on both health inspections. And, you know, that's a, you know, that's a big thing for us too. We've actually had people come eat here because we got 100. Other than winning Best Burger of 2017, what was your proudest moment as a restaurant? I mean, being on the news was cool. Um, being on Fox 5 News was cool. We did, actually, we did two charity events last year, too. We did um, Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, myself and my friends that own VRX. Um, we did that together, which was cool because we were able to meet some of the Make-A-Wish families and stuff like that. So that was a lot of fun. And we also did... Um, the celebrity golf tournament for Shriners, and we got to meet um, a lot of ex Chicago Bears and a lot of different uh, UGA football players and a lot of different people. And that was that was a lot of fun because um, people didn't you know didn't know that we were around and stuff like that, but. Thing. And it was cool because we donated everything. Everything went to, you know, Shriners Children's Hospitals. And we got to meet, like, a lot of really, you know, really good people, nice people from, you know, from that organization. So that was a that was a really cool thing when, you know, I had only been here, I think, two weeks. And one of the guys that works for them was coming in for lunch all the time. And he was like, hey, you think you'd be interested? I was like, yeah, sure. No problem, my husband. My husband was like, "You're only there a couple of weeks." I said, "We'll be fine." And we did it. Um, you know, it was just one of those things. We went. We took our pop up. We did it. It was great. We had fun. And that was that. So it's just it's fun to do stuff like that. Um, we are, like I said, we make everything fresh. Um, that's one of the biggest things. Um, you know, we listen to our customers, we take care of stuff, you know, something's not right. You know, we do whatever we have to, you know, we have to do to fix an accident, to happen, things happen. Um, but it's it's very much, you know, catering, you know, to our customers' needs. And I think that's what a lot of people like because I keep all my meat and my non-meat separate. You know, I don't cook anything without meat in my one fryer, you know, because I'm very conscious of allergies and people's different dietary restrictions and stuff like that and I think that's something that people notice which is good too. Um, we are getting ready to do breakfast soon. Um, we've been experimenting with a bunch of different sandwiches. Um, we're actually going to do steak and egg sandwich with our Italian beef. We made a bunch of different samples of that this morning and we were actually passing it out to people that were in here this morning going, here, try this, what do you think? And it seems like it seems like it's gonna be okay that people are interested. So we're gonna start that um, beginning of February. And we're going to be uh, doing, like I said, sandwiches and loaded home fries and we have a breakfast hot dog plans and pancakes and just grab and go stuff like scones and muffins and bagels and just different stuff just different stuff like that I mean we're very family friendly too um, you know we cater to kids and stuff like that and we just have we just have a good time so but we do we do specials and stuff we're trying to change like have at least three specials a week just to keep things different. Um, we're gonna start doing like, uh, we had Santa here in December. So next year we're gonna do like a bigger event with Santa for Christmas. And... So again, as always on Georgia Eat Explore More, we have a rubric uh, and it's a scale from one to five. Uh, one being the worst, five being the best. Uh, we talk about the appearance. Uh, how does the food look? You know, is it creative? Uh, you know, that's, that's appearance. 
and uh, we also talk about the taste. How does it taste? Does it have uh, a lot of flavor? Uh, are they are the ingredients creative? And when it comes to burgers and hot dogs, I guess for this situation, we talk about the bun as far as taste. Is it too chewy? Is it toasted? Uh, different stuff like that, you know, can influence the score. Um, we talk about the value. Uh, is, do you get your bang for your buck? Um, what you're eating. Um, it does the food make you full? You know, are you paying a lot of money and does it make you full? Or different stuff like that. Um, and also uh, the overall impression. What's the overall impression of the, the food? What's the overall impression of the restaurant, the staff? Um, that's the scale from one to five as well. And as far as burgers, and, and again, this situation as well, hot dogs. Um, we, we take the fries into consideration. Uh, is it a good cut? Does it have a lot of flavor? Is it soggy? Um, and does the fry get cold too fast? So you know, that's our rubric in a nutshell. And uh, like I said, it's a scale from one to five. Okay, guys, our food just arrived. I ordered the Cowboy Burger. It was Swanee's Best Magazine and Swanee Magazine for 2017. Um, it has onion rings in it, and it has a special sauce and bacon. It smells delicious. I didn't eat anything today, so I prepared for this. And I got the cheddar fry dog. It's got all beef hot dog with fries and cheddar cheese on it. Looks delicious. Mm. I just bit into it. This is a great burger. Again. Looking at it, I can see there's a lot going on here. And when I bite into it, there's a lot going on. I taste barbecue sauce. Um, usually any burger that has the name Cowboy in it is going to have barbecue sauce. So it has a good barbecue sauce and um, it has this good tangy sauce. I want to say it's like their special sauce. It's really good and the onions complements it really well. Um, let me take another bite. The patty is also really good. It kind of has a charbroiled taste. Mm. Tastes like they actually took it out back and grilled it. Uh, I don't think that's what they did, but it definitely has a uh, at-home grill taste as far as the patty. That's a plus. Um, and the bun, it's toasted. Nice, nice brown. It's not too chewy. Um, it has a crisp to it, so um, I, I like this bun as well. Um, it's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it, so uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this burger so far. Mm. And this hot dog is so good. A really soft bun. Cheesy. French fries is a really interesting thing to have as a topping on a burger. I don't know. Hot dog. It's really good. The hot dog has a really good flavor to it. Unlike some that, you know, they're kind of just plain. It's good flavor. Does, does it taste like a boiled hot dog? Um, not, it doesn't taste like a boiled hot dog. Mm -hmm. And see, that's a good thing. You know, normally hot dog places, they just boil their hot dogs. They don't show it much love. Um, I like places that, you know, kind of pan sear or, or grill their hot dogs. So, you know, that sounds good. Cool. The fries are excellent. Nice, crispy, crunchy. It has seasoning on it. Um, mm. It's a good cut potato. Uh, it's, it's not a boring french fry. It, it holds the heat really well. Um, mm. Now I'm finally getting to the bacon. It's not chewy bacon. You know, it's typical bacon that you would find on a bacon burger. But, um... Definitely a, uh, a good piece of bacon. Definitely a good patty. Everything, it fits pretty well. It's a, it's a messy burger, so, you know, have napkins on hand. As you see, I'm making a big mess over there. What are you thinking of fries? The fries are really nice. They're crispy. They're soft. They're a little crunched up. But they're so soft on the inside. They're good, good flavored fries. 
Okay guys, I can't wait any longer. I'm about to go ahead and get this great. So, as far as the appearance for the Cowboy Burger, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 5. Um, if you look at it on the magazine, it looks exactly uh, how it looks on the magazine. They took care of uh, putting all the ingredients together so it's not falling all over the place. Um, so, the, the appearance, like I said, I'm giving it a 5. It's pretty good. For my appearance, the overall uh, presentation of the hot dog, um, I give it a five. It was really good presentation. It was clean. It wasn't all, you know, falling apart or anything. Uh, as far as the taste, I'm gonna give it a five. It's it all marries pretty well. Um, I, I hate that I'm giving a scale from one to five because I want to go beyond five. It's that good. Uh, all the flavors it it make marries pretty well. I like the different sauces on here. Um, and for it to not have, you know, any vegetables or whatnot, except for the fried onions, it's really good because, you know, sometimes, you know, that stuff makes a difference, but it's pretty good. And as far as the bun, um, it's, again, not too chewy. It's uh, crispy. They toasted it. It's a really good bun. I, again, this burger is getting a five. Five, five, five. For taste for my uh, cheddar frying dog. <laughs> Um, I definitely give it a five because um, it was very interesting toppings to have fries uh, on your hot dog, um, and it had a really good flavor. Um, the cheese wasn't overpowering; it wasn't like loaded with cheese and fries. It was a nice amount, and the bun was really soft as well. So um, definitely a five. As far as the fries, uh, a five. Again, it's a good cut fry. Uh, I've been sitting here a minute. The fries still is hot, so that's really good. Um, the fries is not too cold. It has a lot of flavor. Crispy, not soggy. Definitely five on the fries. Same thing, definitely five for the fries because they're, they're uh, nice and crispy and uh, flavorful and they give you enough. As far as the value, um, I'm going to give it a five because... Uh, it is a good burger. You get a lot on it, so uh, you get what you pay for. Same thing for the value on my um, hot dog. Um, a five as well. It's pretty good um, size. You know, one one hot dog filled me up. One hot dog with fries um, is enough, so definitely a five. So my overall impression of this burger, I'm going to give it a five. Again, it looks great. It tastes great. Uh, you're getting your bang for a buck. Uh, as far as overall um, impression of the restaurant, I'm going to give it a five. Uh, it's, it's like a restaurant. I like uh, all the memor Chicago memorabilia they have here, even though we're in Georgia. <laughs> but uh, I like it, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a, uh, a five. My overall impression is uh, give it a five. It's a cute little um, place. It's got a whole bunch of um, Chicago-related um, uh, decor. And um, it's clean. And you can see right behind the counter, you can watch them make the food and everything. And it's clean right there as well. And the uh, staff is great. All right, guys. That was Lucky Dog. This place is amazing. Lori, she's, she's amazing. Staff is friendly. The food is great because they believe in quality. You don't find that a lot in restaurants. So uh, come here with your family. Like I said, they're very family friendly. The food is good. You're going to love it. Come on down to uh, Lucky Dog Chicago Style right here in Swanee, Georgia off of Buford Highway. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode featuring Lucky Dog Chicago Style. The food was really good. Again, Lori and her staff, they're excellent. It's a small place, you know, you expect the kind of food that we got, um, you know, would come from a bigger sit-down restaurant, but it's a small mom-and-pop place. It's very good. We highly recommend it. And uh, like I said, the, the food wasn't that expensive. Um, summer, she got the cheddar fried dog for uh, $4.55, and it's uh, a combo, so that's an extra $2.50. Um, and that combo came with fries and I also got the double cowboy burger and that combo came with fries It was $7.99 plus $2.50 uh, All together it was $18.59 so again um, Two people can eat there and uh, like you saw in the interview uh, Lori made a conscious effort to make it cheaper So that way more families can come in 
and all that. So definitely come by with your family. Um, it's good for the office as well. Um, you're going to love it. Uh, we'll see you another time.